So you're thinking about making a move right here to McKinney, Texas. Well, we are back out here at Painted Tree. <laughs> Once again, showing you the new David Weekly model. Now, last week we showed you the model that was on the 50 wide lots. This week we're going to show you the model on the 40 wide lots. So, if you're somebody who wants a little bit lower price point, a lot less yard to take care of, because the 50 wide models are going to have the front facing garage and the 40 are going to have the rear. So, you're not going to have a ton of yard space, but for some of you, that's not really important. You want less to take care of, you like to travel and not worry about a yard. But this home right behind me is the Haston floor plan. It's around 2,300 square feet, three bed, two and a half bath, but it can also be a four bed, three bath. So lots of options, customization that you can do with this home. These homes are gonna start around the mid to high 400s up to the mid to high 500,000s. Once again, this neighborhood is gonna have absolutely everything you can imagine as far as minis amenities are concerned and your tax rate is only 2%. So if you're looking for a lower tax rate and an amazing location right off of 380, this is an absolutely spectacular neighborhood with lots of action and building going all over. But lots of popularity here in this spot. So if you want a place out here, you need to call fast. But we're gonna be checking out this Haston floor plan. So let's go ahead and check it out. Welcome to the beautiful Haston floor plan on the 40 wide lot here in Painted Tree by David Weekly. This home is going to remind you a lot if you've watched a lot of my videos. One of the recent ones was the Trinity Falls townhomes. It's a very similar layout. All your bedrooms are going to be upstairs and like I said, you can add an additional bedroom if you would like. But as soon as you walk into this house through your beautiful eight foot door, all the doors in this home are going to be eight feet. So it's got a nice high end feel with lots of upgrades in here, but you're going to have your office space. It almost looks like a dining area because it is wide open. You've got an opening over here on the left. Uh, I'm sure if you wanted to customize this floor plan and close it off and make it an office like most of you would like, that's an option for you. But this one's going to be wide open. You've got an oversized window right here with two other pocket windows up top to give you that nice modern looking feel. But it's a nice size room. If it was closed off, I would like it a little better. Um, because you've got a dining room right next door, so you definitely don't need an additional one. So then we're gonna continue through here, and this is gonna be your kitchen and dining space. So we'll walk into the dining area. So this is gonna be the only eat-in kitchen area. So it's a kitchen slash dining area. You can fit a, quite a lot of people in here. It's really long and plenty of space. Once again, windows all throughout. You're gonna be looking into the kitchen area and it's a little bit blocked off from the living room area, which is really nice. So it's not gonna feel super closed off or too open for you. But then we're gonna walk into the kitchen area, which is has a great high-end feel. We've probably got like a 10 by four island right here, quartz countertops, oversized sink, nice modern feel, looks really good. Your pantry space is right here. We've got the cabinets that carry all the way to the top with the LED lighting, glass inserts, me personally, I'm gonna have too much stuff to store up there, so it's not gonna be pretty. So if you don't want the glass inserts, you don't have to have them, but it's got a nice high-end feel. We've only got one oven and microwave, but if you wanted two, you could definitely do that as well. These homes are also gonna be gas, which is awesome for you people that like to cook. You've got a nice oversized vent hood, five range bass gas burner right here, tons of counter space throughout here. And uh, of course, your refrigerator, and once again, cabinets everywhere. So plenty of space, especially for a home of this size, only 2,300 square feet. But then you're gonna walk into your main living area. This is where it really opens up. It's gonna go about 20 or so feet into the air. So you got really tall ceilings that are looking into the second story of this place. You've got nice modern windows, four of them on this side. And of course, everybody's favorite, including myself, the beautiful slider that's gonna look up to your oversized patio spaces. Patio, on this house is huge for the size of this lot, but absolutely gorgeous. Tons of natural light throughout here. You don't need any lights on for this place to continue to be bright, but a really nice layout, open feel, but not too open. 
In the back of your house, like I said, the 40 wide lots are gonna have the rear facing garage. So this is where you're gonna enter the home once you pull your car into the driveway. That is locked or I would show it to you. And then you're gonna have your uh, mud bench area to hang all your stuff. Your kids can throw their shoes in here. You've got an additional storage closet and then an additional half bath for all your guests out there when they're coming in and hanging out. They can use this bathroom right here in the back of the house and not bug anybody. <laughs> upstairs portion of this house. You've got a beautiful stairwell and these uh, look like luxury vinyl plank floors. They're gonna carry those throughout the upstairs as well. So everything but the bedrooms is gonna be the luxury vinyl, but you're gonna have many options as far as flooring goes. But this home is a little different. You're gonna have all your bedrooms upstairs, including the master. So you people that are from up north where that's more normal, this might be a perfect fit for you. But you're also gonna have your laundry space on the upstairs portion of the house. So your laundry room, is gonna be in a nice location right across from the master bedroom. And that's the first bedroom we're gonna show you up here is this beautiful oversized master on the second floor. You've got the two additional windows back there as well as one big oversized window up here. So tons of natural light, you got recessed ceiling. It looks like they haven't put the speaker covers on here. It's not gonna look like that, but if you want surround sound in this house, you can have it, but a nice wide, layout up here that walks into your master bathroom, which I love the showers and heat in these. Of course, you can have a tub if you would like as well, but you're gonna have a rain shower. You're gonna have shower head over here. So three shower heads in here and all your control knobs are right here and they don't work. Let's see, let's see if I can get one to work. Oh, there it goes. So I got one of them to work, but awesome shower. I think they just call this the super shower. That's the option they call it. I think it's a fitting name, but you've got two oversized vanity space, of course your toilet, extra cabinet space. And then the, the master closet, which I'm just not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, it's not gonna impress you too much. It's, uh, this is it. So uh, it's a little bit tight in here. So if you're a minimalist um, and you don't need a ton of stuff, or you can just get some more extra furniture that's gonna hold your clothes, but it's not the biggest master closet, but the bathroom size is really nice as well as the master bedroom size. Then we're gonna come into the rest of the long hallway where the flooring continues, where there's an additional two bedrooms as well as a bathroom space. So these bedrooms are a nice size. They're gonna be a little bit smaller than what we've been showing you recently. You get a nice window space, a good layout, plenty of size for the kids and a nice smaller walk-in closet space here as well. But plenty of room for the kids out there, especially the younger ones. Additional storage here and a nice size bathroom here. If you wanted to get a double vanity, I'm sure that's an option for you so your kids aren't fighting over the sink. But they carry the towel all the way to the top of the ceiling so it still has that nice high-end feel throughout the entire house. Little touches like that can make a big difference. And something I'll show you real quick is that you can actually see all the way into the living room space and all these beautiful windows right here. You can look into the kitchen. So it has a nice, beautiful, wide open feel that you probably can't see on camera. And then of course, this is gonna be the last bedroom. It's very similar size, maybe a hair bigger, but let's turn this into a nursery. Nice size. Of course, you can get a fan added as well, but you've got a nice window right here and another nice size closet for this bedroom. This is probably 
the biggest closet of the kids' bedrooms, but beautiful layout. If you don't mind the bedrooms all being upstairs, which I know some of you don't, it's a great house and way more affordable than some of the other options at this price point here in Painted Tree. favorite parts of this home. First, we're gonna walk through this absolutely gorgeous slider. You've got an additional doorway to go out of if you wanna put a dog door or anything like that. There should be no issues. But this is one of the largest patios I've seen. And like I said, this is on a much smaller lot than normal, only being 40 foot wide with the rear facing garage. So most of your yard is gonna be out to the side, but they put like a 20, 25 foot patio space here. You can do an outdoor kitchen, put your TV up here, tons of possibilities. They've got furniture out here but plenty of space for a garden, anything you wanna do. And like I said, low maintenance is a great thing for a lot of you out there. So lots of people moving out here to, to uh, paint a tree and there's lots of different builders and options and different price points, but they are moving fast. So if you're looking to move out here, make sure to reach out. And if you're looking to move here or anywhere in DFW, make sure to give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email. And I'd love to help you and your family make a smooth move to Dallas. Hope to see you around town. Oh, oh, oh.